Well, trainers Riley Hemmingson among the standouts here tonight, the Western Iowa Conference meet, winning the 100 meter hurdles. Uh, Riley, you know, a heck of a race for you. Uh, thoughts on how you're feeling about things? Um, pretty good. I felt like it was a good race. Yeah, take us through the race. Uh, what, what was kind of, what was the approach? What were the things that went well for you in that race? I'm um, just going in. I knew I had to get out fast because I run against Zoe Payne. I like every meet, and I know she's good. And I've always run against her. She's always been my biggest competition. So I just got into it. I knew I had to go hard. And, like, everything was going good. I had a good start and a good finish. So. How important in a race that goes as quickly as the 100 hurdles, how important is a really good start? Uh, it's really important because, like, you always, if someone's out in front of you and goes faster, then obviously there's no getting back at that point. You mentioned you and Zoe have had quite a few battles. Uh, I mean, talk about kind of that dynamic and, and getting to compete against somebody like that. Um, we definitely got, we got closer with it because, like, we just know that we're going to push each other every time. You've had a really good year up to this point. What do you attribute that to? What's been kind of the reason behind that? Um, I don't know. I just want to, like, do better each time and just, like, push. Looking ahead, getting into the postseason, uh, what are the goals and expectations you have for yourself? Um, just like getting better, better times, and pushing myself. Well, hey Riley, awesome job today. Thank you. Well, try setters Tess Casey among the standouts tonight. Uh, Tess, you win the 400. You help the four by eight set a new meet record. How are you feeling with the way things went down tonight? Um, I'm actually really happy about how the way things went tonight. Um, we've had a lot of soccer games the past couple weeks, and we have a lot of dual athletes, so. We haven't got a lot of good meets in with our full entire team, so I think it was really good to have everybody here and really show what we can do as a team. Four by eight breaks a meet record that I think had been held by a Tri Center team. I might be wrong, but nonetheless, it's a, it's a meet record. Tell me about that relay right, and what so it means for you guys still in that Tri record now. Um, it really means a lot. We haven't got to run our fastest six, four by eight, eight in a while eight, because eight, of soccer. Seven, and I think we put the girls who the are going to be our fastest relay in there and we PR by a lot. And I think that was just what we needed going into districts and state. Speak to your leg in the four by eight. That is not a not a fun race at all. How do you try to attack it? Um, I just try and think like all the other girls have already ran their legs and they tried their hardest the race, so I just need to finish it for the team and do my best because I'm just holding myself back if I'm not doing my best for my team and for myself. How about the 400? Um, there was a lot of good competition. Lydia Erickson from Riverside, she's really good and I think that's just what I needed was another push in the 400 to really help me just get my PR and run really good. With the 400, you know, it's a sprint but also it's it's a long race. How do you try to attack that? What's kind of the perfect 400 for you? Um, for me, I try to get out kind of hard and then kind of cruise on the back stretch. Um, and then I know the 200 corner is really where I start out. I go strong is where I kick because I know, you know, I only have half the race left. I'm already halfway done. So I just try to kick there and that usually works out for me. You've had a really good season so far and now we're getting to the biggest part of the season. How are you feeling? Um, I'm a bit nervous, but I'm kind of just trusting my teammates and my coaches. You know, they set me up for this much success already, and I'm hoping that I can just put it all together at the end. Tess, awesome job today. Best of luck going forward. Thank you. A couple of goals for Logan Magnolia's Madison Spore tonight. Uh, Madison, the weather has made things kind of interesting, uh, but, but thoughts on the night and thoughts on your performances? Um, yeah, so it's definitely a little rainy, gloomy today, but honestly, I would have... It hasn't been very windy, and I would take this weather over any of the other windy days that we've had. But overall, it was a very good night for me, and I'm proud of how I did and everything. I got my times down and everything, so that was good. I've heard some distance runners before say they actually kind of like temperatures like this where it's a little cooler and don't mind a little bit of rain. Uh, where do you stand on that? Um, I would definitely agree. Um, it has been extremely windy every meet we've had. And I would take the rain <laughs> any day. 3,000, uh, I mean, that's kind of a, you're used to that race by now. Uh, but it, it's never easy. Take us through it today. Um, yeah, so we started off, um, Allison kind of started off pretty fast. But I've learned, like, I just run my own race. I started, like, back and, like, my normal split and everything. Um, and then... I definitely, I tried to push the last 800, um, 
I've really been trying to work on that. Last year, I kind of only had a kick left for the last 400, so I've been trying to like extend that period of time. So you and Allison push each other in the 3,000, then you know you do the same in the 1,500. How, how big do you think that is for both of you to be able to have somebody like that to push the other? I think it is very nice. Um, a lot of schools don't have that second person that they can run with, and I think it benefits it benefits both of us, pushes us. Um, I would say our times improve with having both of us there for each other. Thoughts on the DMED today? Um, we did very well. We cut off five seconds from our original PR. Um, yeah, very good. <laughs> On to the postseason now, you know, state qualifiers, state on the way. How are you feeling and what are the expectations you have for yourself? Um, I'm pretty excited. Um, I know I definitely wanted to get my 1500 time down. It was kind of, was kind of concerned about that race. Just end of the night, I'm tired. Um, but after tonight, I feel pretty confident and I feel like tonight was kind of a confidence booster going into districts. Madison, awesome job tonight. Best of luck going forward. Thank you. Carly Henderson, Lydia Erickson both have uh, impressive nights for Riverside. It's been kind of par for the course this year. Uh, Carly, we'll start with you. How are you feeling about how things went tonight? Um, I started out pretty rocky. I didn't feel very good, but uh, before the 400 hurdles, I just kind of spent some time by myself to mentally reset, and from there it was gold. I know Coach Conover mentioned to me that the 800 had you kind of mad with how that went. Uh, as a competitor, speak to using that as motivation and, and did that kind of upset you the way things went there? Yeah, I was more upset about myself. I mean, they all ran great. I just didn't and that's on me. And so I just knew I had to show up for the other two races. And you did. Uh, first, talk about the 400 hurdles and, and how you had success there. Um, I tacked early. I, I took off for my first hurdle sooner than I ever have before. And I didn't stumble, I didn't stutter step, and I just kept attacking the whole time. Been meaning to ask you this all year. Had you done the 400 hurdles prior to this year? Uh, less than five times. I say, the first time I saw uh, you run it, I was like, I don't think she's ever done that. And then I saw you're leading the state. Talk about deciding to do that event, and has it just come kind of naturally? Uh, actually, Coach Hoffman brought it up before the season. I was like, okay, I guess I'll run it. And then I ran it and broke the school record on my first run. And, yeah, that's pretty crazy. So I just kept building from there. Uh, I mean, that's not a fun race. I know you've kind of been a glutton for punishment over the years, though, with the different races and different sports. But what's the most important thing in the 400 hurdles for you? Uh, attacking in between and getting out fast. 4x4 four four has another good day. Uh, I mean, this just seems like a relay that, that every race gets a little bit better. How, how are you feeling with it? You know, I have a lot of confidence in the three legs before me. I knew they'd get a good lead, and I just needed to hold on to that. Overall, thoughts on the team performance tonight? Yeah, I'm really proud. A lot of people stepped up, persevered, and worked hard throughout the whole night. Go to Lydia. Uh, three golds for you. Uh, how do you feel about the way things went tonight? Uh, I feel really good about things. Uh, my 400 would probably be my, I guess it's not my worst of it, but it's not my best event either but I still was not disappointed in that whatsoever. There's some really good spinners in this conference and you win the open one and the open two. One, how does that feel and two, take us through those races. It feels great to win in those. Last year I went second to Veronica Andrushishin in the hundred and being able to come back this year and win that was just amazing. I knew I was going to have really good competition with Ali Hauser and our, my own teammate Ellie Henderson in the same heat as me. And my 200, I knew I was going to have really good competition with Tess Casey and Ellie also in that too. So just had to push through and know that I can do it. They're both sprints, but is, is the way you approach those and the strategy you have to have, are they similar or different? Uh, those are a little bit similar. My 100, I know that I have to get out and just go as fast as I can, as quickly as I can. My 200, I have to get out as fast as I can and gradually build up speed to get to where I need to go. Another good showing for the 4x4. Uh, thoughts on that? I thought that we did really good. We had a really strong first and second leg with Veronica and Ellie, and then I just kept holding that lead and gave it to Carly, who also held off that lead. And overall thoughts on the team performance? I'm really proud of the way that our team pushed through this tonight. Um, it was a 
pretty bad meet with the rain and everything, but we have had practices in the rain and we know how to push through. Lydia, awesome job tonight. Thank you. All right, coach. Uh, I mean, trainer Logan Magnolia and Tri Center definitely didn't make it easy on you guys, but you're back-to-back -back Western Iowa Conference champions. How does that sound? Good. Sounds sounds really good. Um, yeah, can, pats on the back to all three of those teams, four teams. They they ran awesome. Um, we know trainer coming in, they're always going to do what they need to to try and put themselves in the best position. Logan's got a great distance program, so they're going to do well. And um, Tri Center has really some really good young runners who have, have put them in good position. So uh, for us to be able to beat that quality of field was really good. You know, every meet you can kind of look back and go, okay, this this is where we want it. Where was that tonight, you think? Um, I, I don't think there was a certain point. I mean, you could say later in the meet, but just being able to uh, double up in certain events. And, you know, in the 100, we were able to get a first and third. In the 200, we were able to get a first and third. and 400, we get, went four, second and fourth. Adding those double points up what really helped us. Um, I think kind of the turning point at the end might have been the 200. You could say Mark, that as the point. But I think the whole meet, just being able to double up on those individual re or events were good. Seems like, you know, with Carly, you can put her in just about anything, and she's going to at least score you points, if not win it. Tell me about her night tonight. Yeah, um, I didn't know exactly uh, how she would do. She's been uh, had a little flu for a little bit, so she showed up. Um, her first couple races, I don't think, were exactly what she wanted for the 400 and the 800, um, but she scored points. I mean, she scored important points for us, and then she just went out and dominated the 400 hurdles. Uh, I mean, that's her event right now, and she loves doing that. And then being able to kind of cap it off on the 4x4 with a win is good too. And it seems like every race since she was a freshman, Lydia just gets a little bit better and a little bit better. Yeah, uh, as the season's gone on, she's gotten she's gotten better. I, I think it's her senior year. She's been working hard. Um, and it was important tonight getting that double win in the 100 and 200, taking those home and scoring p good points in the four and then bringing home that four by four. Uh, yeah, so she she's done really well. Looking ahead, uh, you know, this is one of the goals you guys have. I know it's not the big goal, but I mean, it's, it's a good starting point. What do you take away from tonight? Yeah, tonight's just another stepping stone. Um, I mean, seeing uh, as I as I've been thinking, you know, our field events were the big uh, kind of boost at the beginning that we needed. Scoring 35 points at the beginning and seeing them have success, success with a lot of uh, PRs and doing that type of stuff, that kind of, that, that's what kind of jump started us tonight. And um, we're just always constantly, it's one step to the next. This was another step. I mean, as we know, we're going to districts a week from now. So um, we just hope to get a little bit more in shape, get a little bit faster, kind of just do our part, what we can do. And a really good district at that with, you know, really good St. Albert and Fremont Mills teams. Uh, what's it going to take, you know, there for you guys to have the success you want to have? I, I think it's going to take a full team effort. I mean, uh, we've got individuals to do a lot of special things, and we've got good relays. But just the, in, just the entire team effort from those field events, uh, from the throwers, um, and just all the way through to our distance runners, everybody just giving their best work that they can. Um, and they do that every single time they come out. So I'm proud of all of them. Congrats, Coach. Hey, thank you. Awesome.